today's broadcast in Mali, where incumbent President Ibrahim Boubacar Keita will serve a second five-year term in office. This follows his victory of last Sunday's presidential runoff between him and his opposition rival, Sumaila Sisi. The Ministry of Territorial Administration on Thursday declared Keita the winner of the repeat poll with 67% of ballots cast. Sisi, on the other hand, secured 32% of the votes and just like in the first round, he still alleges the election was marred by fraud. On Monday, the opposition leader declared in advance that he would reject the results and has vowed to contest the results using all democratic means. Well, we're now joined by our Mali correspondent, Alu Diawara, to talk about these election results. Good morning, Alu, and thanks very much for joining us today. It must have been quite a busy moment for you with these elections. The first round, the second round, and the official results were finally released on Thursday, putting the incumbent president, Ibrahim Boubacar Keita, in the lead. But what can you say about the whole process? First, the president, Ibrahim Boubacar Keita, won by a big margin, 67%, against 32% to his opponent, Sumaila Sisse. This score shows all the same that Malians are still as enthusiastic for him as they were in 2013. In 2013, he was elected with 77% of the votes. He was again facing Sumaila Sisse. Sumaila Sisse improved his score in the second round of 2013 he obtained 22%. This time, it's 32% of the vote. The other lesson is that the participation rate is low, 34% compared to 42% in the first round in July and 45% in the second round in 2013. This rate makes analysts here say that the first political round, people were more eager, because during the second round, 66% of registered voters did not come to place their ballot paper into the ballot box. This drop in the participation rate can be explained by Malian's lack of interest in politics. Also note that the vote took place this year in the middle of the rainy season. 80% of millions live in rural areas. Insecurity in the north and the center was also a factor. Another lesson is that there are far fewer draws than in the first round where 24 candidates were in competition, estimated at over 200,000 in the first and 85,000. Alu, what has been the reaction from the two camps after this announcement was made? Ibrahim Boubacar Keita's camp and that of his main challenger, Sumaila Sisse. On the side of the winner, Ibrahim Boubacar Keita, he is celebrating his victory. For his party, their candidate was the best in every way. Immediately after the results were announced, young people came out in a procession with portraits of the president displayed on vehicles and motorcycles. IBK's campaign director was delighted with the victory and thanked all the activists and Malians. Supporters of the opposition leader Sumaila Sisse was rather angry. They denounced his results. For them, these are fraudulent results. They say they are organizing the rightful victory to their candidate. They intend to organize sit-down marches and other demonstrations, according to Nahum, the spokesman of Sumaila Sisse. Moreover, a public address is going to be organized by Sumaila Sisse. And as I said earlier on, uh, Alou, Sumaila Sisse has vowed to use all the democratic means to contest these results and has even called on all Malians to rise up and not accept the dictatorship of fraud. Does this mean Mali should prepare for a post-election crisis? There are undoubtedly fears about this. Here, there is a fear that the already tense atmosphere will deteriorate further. Sumaila's supporters plan to demonstrate regularly because they believe that the victory was stolen from them.
le pouvoir en place, lui, affiche la fermeté et fait savoir que... The government in power, on the other hand, is firm and says that the law should remain in force. But overall, people do not want a post-election crisis to add to the long crisis in the north and insecurity in the center. Le moment de convivialité qu'est la fête musulmane de Tabaski prévue mardi prochain. Many Malians have their eyes turned towards the moment of togetherness at the Muslim festival of Tabaski, scheduled next Tuesday. 90% of Malians are Muslims. Mali's partners also want a peaceful climate. Many Western chancellors have already called on both can candidates to settle disputes through legal channels. Internally, religious, traditional and customary leaders are called up for the message of peace.